Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are cleaning this kitchen. It is such a mess. It needed it just needed such a deep clean. We're gonna go through everything and I'm gonna show you all the products that I've been loving recently. So make sure you stick around. So the first thing I did was just get rid of kind of the pots and pans that were in the sink, giving them a good scrub and then popping them to dry. Then it was time to tackle the oven. The oven needed such a deep clean, that's what we're gonna focus on today. Look at that mess. So having these oven mats in the oven just makes cleaning a little bit easier because you can just remove them and if you clean them regularly they won't get this bad but we've not done it in a while so I'm just soaking them in hot bubbly water so very liquid and then adding some the pink stuff um, paste and just scrubbing that um, and trying to get as much of the grime off as possible. I mean it did take me a while like and then I had to go in with this sonic scrubber. If you've not used one of these they are the best for getting off like tough stains and marks and honestly it's the only thing that I could use to get as much of it off as I did and I did not get it all off but definitely give a sonic scrubber a try if you're trying to get off all the kind of tough marks and um, scrubs. So for the trays I used fairy liquid and a bit of pink stuff as well just on a sponge and gave that a good scrub and then once I'd done that I'd left them to dry and actually went into the base of the oven so using the pink stuff again with my sonic scrubber just straight on there and just getting all of the bits where there's tough marks and that's where I kind of just focus first. Then I wiped that away with just a cloth with warm water, you can see it bubbling up loads um, and this actually works so well I was really really impressed with the results. I then just went in with this Devlora multi-purpose disinfectant with some tissue and just wiped that away and then I did just go back in with a sonic scrubber a few times just to get in any bits that weren't coming off and then wiping around the oven with just the cloth and a bit of that Zaflora spray just to make it smell really really nice and honestly the results were so so good I mean it wasn't perfect I did you know struggle with some of the parts on the oven but I was honestly so impressed with how it turned out. So this was just the top part of our oven. So we've got a double oven and this one's the microwave. Um, but once I'd done that, I literally was just so, so impressed. Um, and yeah, put the trays back in and it just was shining so, so lovely. And so for the outside of the oven, I'm just using this Sif Cream in Lemon, and I love this for just freshening things up. It smells so, so good, and it does such a great job of getting all the grime off. And then finally going in with some Tesco Window and Glass Cleaner, just to give it a bit of a shine, and this is such a great way to finish off your appliances, um, especially if they're black, and to make them super shiny, as you can see here. Super impressive results. Don't mind the mess in the background, we do get to cleaning that after this. <laughs> Okay, so that top oven was complete and now look at this one. This one was so, so bad, like the glass was just tragic. So you're gonna see the results of this. And again, just using the pink stuff, um, paste and the sonic scrubber, just going in and scrubbing it all. Um, and yeah, I show you the comparison after and it's just amazing. So if you are hoping to do your oven and you wanna give it a good clean, definitely get your hands on the pink stuff and use that because I've not found anything that works as good as this. Um, with our oven, we can remove the glass but I didn't do it because I can't actually do it, my dad has to do it. But it does work really well once you've kind of removed your glass and you can get the other side. But with this today we're just doing the inside of it and it actually worked really, really well. So I was happy with the finish with this. So with the racks, as you can see, they're super dirty. So I just took them out, put them in some bubbly water and scrubbed that, um, yeah, really good. I used a little bit of pink stuff and the Sonic Scrubber again, just to get into the parts that were a bit tough. So I would definitely recommend if you are wanting to do like a quick at home kind of oven clean, get your hands on the Sonic Scrubber and the pink stuff paste because it's gonna make your life a lot easier. I know you can get like kits and things, but um, if you want something quite quick to do, then this worked really, really well. And now it's time to just finish off the kitchen and do everything else. So I'm putting away all the stuff in the dishwasher and yeah, just giving everything a good spruce up and sharing with you guys the products that I'm absolutely loving at the moment to give the kitchen a good, good clean. So 
also the Tesco window and glass cleaner is one of my favourites for the splashback that we've got because it's black and shiny this is the best thing I've found to make it no smears and get all the grub off that you need to sometimes I use a multi-purpose spray before if I need to but then looking at the hop it is oh it was so bad today there was so much muck all over it so I'm going in with a sift cream in lemon this is an absolute lifesaver in the kitchen it just works so so well and it's so quick and easy I literally put a little bit on there rub it with a cloth and then just use a microfiber cloth to wipe it all away And then just for the top parts of the hob, I'm using the Zaflora Winter Spice, I think it is, um, all-purpose spray. And just spraying that on a, a microfiber cloth and rubbing it all over just so it smells fresh. And then going in with my Fabulosa Granite and Marble for all the worktops. If you guys have watched my previous cleaning videos, you'll know I absolutely love this. It's the only one we use on the worktops and it just leaves them super shiny. Um, and yeah, I love it. And then to clean the white cabinets, I'm just going in with the Sephora All Purpose in Winter Spice again with a microfiber cloth, just getting off all the marks. This is the worst part in the kitchen because it's where the dishwasher is and sometimes it splashes out all the muck, um, like when you put something in there. So just going through all of the cabinets and giving them a once over and then, wow, look at this sink. I don't think I've ever shown you guys a worse looking sink. Um, but yeah, just going in first with some water, rinsing it out, rinsing the stuff out the plug and removing that and pop it in the bin and then just giving everything a rinse over over um for the sink i do use a little bit of bleach and um, that's what i'm spraying first just the flash all-purpose bleach giving that a scrub and then going in with the sif cream in lemon again just wiping that over with a cloth and it makes it super bubbly and then i just rinse it all away and it's super fresh um, and just leaves the kitchen smelling great and at the end i just kind of use a microfiber cloth just to wipe all the kind of muck away so it's nice and dry i mean it stays like that for a few minutes before someone comes along and puts the tap on but you know you get that end result which is always nice and the final thing to clean in the kitchen was um the washing machine kind of tray and i just give that a scrub with the sonic scrubber and a little bit of bleach and then that just gets off all the rubbish that's left in there if you do this on a regular basis it's not too bad i mean i hadn't done it in a few weeks so it was a little bit bad then i just left it to soak in some bubbly water so with fairy liquid and yeah this just works a treat and then just drying it after and making sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies so there's no leftover like gunk in there and yeah that was the end result i really hope you guys liked this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more content like this from me and i will see you all in my next video bye